So as most of us know, thermal paste is an essential part of cooling a PC. But what happens if you're out of thermal paste and can't wait for a new tube to ship? In this video, we're going to investigate some household replacements for thermal paste and hopefully not burn my house down. So today we used the Dell Inspiron 560 with an Intel Core 2 Duo E7500 bundled with Dell's pretty horrible stock cooler. This is the same system we did the tape mod on, which you can watch by clicking the card up at the top of your screen. In order to establish a baseline, we completed an IDA64 test with Arctic Silver 5 thermal paste. The temperature at IDA was about 39 degrees and only maxed out to 56 at full load. Looking around the internet showed that toothpaste is actually pretty effective at thermal conductivity. Yeah, pretty surprising, so I guess we'll test that first. We applied toothpaste by spreading it carefully over the processor IHS and then setting the heatsink on top of it. If you're gonna try the toothpaste method, be careful since toothpaste can be conductive and even damage your CPU if not applied properly. Anyway, at idle we achieved 43 degrees and when running IDA64 it only maxed out to about 58 degrees. These results are actually pretty good, but when taking off the cooler, the toothpaste turned into a thin layer that was pretty dry, so it's not suitable for long-term use over maybe a few days. Next, we tried aluminum foil since it was interestingly one of the widely recommended options. At idle, the CPU was sitting at about 54 degrees and surprisingly under full load, it only spiked up to 63 degrees. And after testing all these different items, we put the cooler onto the CPU with nothing in between the two. At idle, the CPU sat around 55 degrees and only spiked up to 65 when running IDA64. So in conclusion, it's probably best to not even use anything into your CPU and cooler for a bit since things like toothpaste will dry out over time, and even using tinfoil is just plain stupid. If you guys enjoyed this short video, make sure to leave a like, and if you really liked it, then make sure to subscribe. Anyways guys, I'm out, I'll see you in the next one.